everybody, it's James, and we're back with Corby Town. Did you guys figure out a chance for Yannick, Yannick Gillett yet? Let me know. I'm still, I still haven't. I haven't found anything yet. But we're back, and it's only been one game. A 3-0 win against uh, Sheffield United. Scrivener getting a brace. Robinson putting us up ahead. A completely rotated side, as usual, because... We we're playing Porto, what, three days later? Because welcome to being in multiple cup competitions. So, good news. We have a fully fit team ready to go. And other interesting news is uh, Inter beat Traspador, what, 5-0. So... 22 goals against one goal for <clears throat> interesting so today a win or a draw puts us at the top of the group we pass so that's the plan though we are going to porto and to that this is the team we're going to put out there uh aslani bedov cock hashimoto kopner brum carnival martin valdison brownlee and gillette with oh why is Namon trying to sneak on the bench with Edison with Brum Guillerme Fernando Jamie has finally back and he's finally going to be able to play again after breaking his ankle Ambrose Hope Scrivener and Jan Jurgen submitting the team like I said, just the one game today. Please to be back on the team. Ah, oh, Fernando, I am excited to have you back. Though that other guy I got on the free from freaking Red Bull is looking like a freaking steal right now. No money to that. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. Engage. Uh, I really think we start planning the let's, uh, far from was it, give me the importance of the upcoming match, the incredible hunger, we're going to fast result positive, is it bad pressure? No, there isn't any added pressure, we know what we're doing. The fact that the managers can often crack under pressure, or can seem to handle pretty well, as same as said, I think so, yes, we're both professionals. Aslani is an outstanding player. And he has been. Oh, 4-4-2. Four, four, That's not what they played last time, was it? And we are we are in our four two three one killer team, top of the uh, top of the charts in the group. I would really love a win here, just to get it over and done with, just so we can just cruise through the rest of it. And oh wow, we're starting over the highlight right away. Interesting. As Lonnie finds Bedov. Finds Carnival. Plays in Brownlee. Cuts in. Brum. Good run. Martin. Tries to feed Gillette. Hashimoto will clean this up, though. Send Kopner down there. Gets it to Martin. Martin, is he going to send it in? Nope. Gets it to Brum. To Valdison. Back out to Brum. Bedov running in. Tries to cross it in. Wow, okay. Crazy start at the beginning of this. Ball's all over the place now. Martin. Kopner. Cross in. Yannick. Klopner, great assist, but Yannick just, just a maniac, like always. Martin, Yannick just drives in, pulls himself back onside. Doesn't matter because Klopner is onside, is deeper than he is. Poacher's instincts just sends it home. Yannick gets the first goal, his first goal. He's been a maniac. Um... Interesting stat about Yannick so far this year. He is both leading us in assists and goals. So, very much a... Very much a, just kind of a, a complete forward. Even though we don't play him as a complete forward. We play him as an advanced forward. He knows a lot better than we all do. Or, <clears throat> not better, but he just plays so well. Buendio, deep cross into the back post. Oh, they've got problems. Brownlee can run. 
Can he finish? Did he touch it? Ah, oh, Bradley, why'd you touch? You didn't need to touch that one. You could have just let it roll out. Francis. Renato. Fernandez. Bobby. Vanderbeek. Falls out there to Brownlee, and there he goes again. <laughs> Brownlee. His first assist, Yannick's 17th goal. He's just, he's just, he's just that good. A lot to do on Brownlee here. Beautiful, beautiful interception. And then everything to do with Gillette here. Picks the spot, sends it into the bottom corner. He knew what he was doing. And that's 2-0. 25 minutes in. We're running rough shot on these guys. Kottner to Valdison to Brum. Brum holds it up. Pass could have been better. Renato beats out on Hashimoto. Aslani's there. Bedov's header will clear it for a throw. And not a corner. Good play, good skill, guys. Good defense. Cock is aggressive, I'm guessing. Yes, he is. Like he always is. And a good start. Valdezin's playing solid. Brownlee's playing solid. Gillette is playing out of his freaking mind. And I think the other thing, too, we look at Valdezin. I think he's got, what, six assists this so far this year? He's got, like, something like that. And we're going to see a lot, probably, less assists from him. And a lot less, like, goals and higher statistics from all of our players. As they're going to go back post now. Mark gets it. Brownlee, here we go again. Brownlee. Still Brownlee. Signed Eddie. He didn't really have anybody going with him. I think that's because we're going to see a lot less from all of our other players so far this year. Because there is a lot more depth. So we can rotate them in. Is a throw in to us. You know, some last fireworks before the half. Martin to Kopner. Kloppner. Kloppner. Still Kloppner. <clears throat> Ball goes all the way back here to Mark. Who will clean it up. Finds Brum. Brum. Valdison. Valdison beats his man. Gillette's not, not on side. Beautifully worked shot. Beautifully worked attempt. He is not on side. <clears throat> and just didn't hold his line. I mean, Valdison maybe releases the pass a little bit sooner. But still, Kopner's lost much possession on the team. We've lost a fair few possession on the right-hand side. Good number touch in the penalty area. That's fine. I'm okay with us losing possession. I mean, the entire team is playing well, even, but once again, midfielders just doing, being workhorses. As Hashi gets ahead to clear, but Brum gets back on it here. Brum's got some quality. Gillette. I'm going to have to go back and look at his goals. He might be on a perfect hat trick. I think he scored with his left and his right, so he just needs to head the ball in. And once again, like if you're talking about like, you know, oh, the right side, so I'm playing. Probably has an assistant playing well. You know, you just the opposite numbers. So Bedov isn't playing well, but guess what? Brownlee is. Cock. To Brum gets tackled, but Valdison's there. Valdison's gonna have a go. Oh my god, he almost got it. A rare shot from Valdison. Ball in, headed clear, and that's gonna be into the highlight. Yeah, Bedov's not playing well, and Martin's not playing well, but Klopner and Brownlee are playing great. <laughs> Defense is solid, as Lonnie has had to only face four, shot, three, four shots. And he's done well against them. We've got good XG. I mean, solid play all around. Just keep the momentum going. Encourage the entire team. Tell them, hey, keep going. We love you. Keep going. We'll make a change now as Valdison is tiring and we have his replacement, John Hope, right on the bench. 
Ready to go. Copner's throw finds Martin. Gillette. It's a goal kick. I thought he was offside. <clears throat> but Gillette. It's a man on the mission today. I would really like to get one more goal out of him. Round this off with a hat trick. Martin. Oh, Brownlee's in. Brownlee scores. That's the seventh of the season. I think the best he had. The best season he had was 12, I think. And Martin, that's a hell of a pass by Martin. Brownlee's in. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot by Brownlee. I'm surprised his yet yeah, now his rating jumps up to a 7.8. There we go. I'm going to let this go just a little bit longer. Now, he's not that match fit, but let's get Jamie out there. Let's get Jamie out there. And get him some get him some reps. <clears throat> Just because he it's been a while since he's been on. Beautiful game, guys. Beautiful. Not everything needs to be a 5-0 win. Hope sends it in. Said I wanted a third. That Hope with the assist? <clears throat> Let's see. Hope. Ball comes in. Misses everybody. And Gillette's just there. That's the reason we keep him at the back post, by the way. For that exact moment. Absolute scenes here. Uh, let's play some cheeky time-wasting stuff here. Ambrose on for Brum. <coughs> Just to waste some time. That's four goals for us. The front three. Playing amazing. Gillette, masterclass by him. That was a great win for us. And here comes the confirmation. Classy from Gillette. Qualify for the first knockout round. Thank God. Uh, it's a poor performance result. We can only work on our own mistakes. Qualify the first knockout round. Another 2.46 million. Gillette being classy as ever. Your performance was superb. So over in all competitions, he's got 18 goals and 7 assists. The man's a machine. He's also picked up a couple more traits that I've worked. I've been working on the background that I didn't show you guys. He moves into channels now. But he also, he also winds up opponents. So increases the likelihood of a player to front... Looking to frustrate the opponent in order to make them become focused. Their focus become more short temper and gets the crowd going. Increases the likelihood of a player seeking a positive reaction from the crowd. Move appropriate movements when the ball is not in play. I think you can thank Harry Kane for that one. Yeah, gets the crowd going. Absolute scenes. Madrid are going to try and get Mark from us. I don't know if he'll go or not. <clears throat> he is turning into a very good defender. I don't even know why they say he's a three-star. My coaches say that. I mean, Hashimoto and Girme Gear, apparently are better than him. But he's just... He's just a machine. Edison. <clears throat> Same attacking. Edison has better passing, better physicals. Same defending, better mentals. But Cock is better in the air. What is it like for a ball playing defender, though? Better, same, same, better. Him, better. And then just the mental sides. Yeah, Mark is just... I mean, Edison is a better defender all around. Mark is just a better ball playing defender. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, we can advance time a little bit here, peeps. I am going to play Everton, Leeds, Inter, 
and we'll come back for either Arsenal or Manchester United, whoever is higher in the table when I get to them for next episode. I said there's only going to be one to today, and there's only going to be one because I've got other stuff I need to do, sadly. So, thanks for being here. Get me those Yannick chants. In the meantime, I've been James. You've been you. This has been Corby Town. And let's hope we don't get Atletico Madrid in the, in the next round. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.